and welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually filming in my living room right now. Uh, upstairs we are sort of redoing the room that I normally film in so I didn't have a room to film so I thought I'd come downstairs and film my lounge and it might be a bit echoey because we've literally just had wooden floors put in and they look amazing but we haven't really furnished the room yet so it might be a bit echoey so I'm trying not to talk too loudly. So I hope it's all okay for you. I'm also just filming with a ring light and natural light. So I'm hoping the light doesn't change throughout this video. If it does, that's why. Appa is also chewing on a bone just down here. So if you can hear some chewing noises, that's Appa. And next one over are playing loud music. So great time to start filming, but I needed to get it done, so I'm doing it. So today's video is a first impressions video on the new sort of thing that's coming out, which is a silicon makeup applicator. And basically I was like, what the is that? And will it work? How would that work? And basically it is a sort of a makeup sponge made out of silicon and you apply it just like a beauty blender. And this one is from Violet, Violet Voss, is that how you pronounce it? And I got it off Beauty Bay and it basically looks like this, it comes in a little packet. And it is just like a piece of silicon uh, made into a little sort of pair of... <coughs> Apple, that's not the best toy to play with. <coughs> Have to take that off him. This is the most annoying toy ever. <coughs> it's going away. Okay, yeah, so it's sort of more like a teardrop sort of shape and it's really soft and squidgy and basically it's supposed to be really easy to uh, apply your makeup with and basically it doesn't waste product because it doesn't sink into it. So that's all really good because I find that beauty blenders literally eat to your foundation. You have to use so much just to sort of get a good coverage. So I'm really interested in trying this out and I thought I'd try it with you. So I'm gonna start off by putting some primer on my face. This is the Too Faced Hangover Primer that I've been really enjoying lately. It's such a nice sort of hydrating primer. Um, you'd really laugh at my situation down here at the moment because I don't have a table, a coffee table yet, so I'm actually using Apple's crate as my table and <laughs> they keep putting things down and they keep falling through. It's just one of those things, but yes. I love this primer a lot. So yes, getting back on to this, what it's all about. I'm going to start by applying the Beauty Pie Great Skin Foundation. This is in zero, sorry, this is in 300 beige, which is too, actually too dark for me, which you'll know if you saw my Beauty Bay video. Sorry, not Beauty Bay, Beauty Pie. I always say Beauty Bay, Beauty Pie. Um, so let's get going. I'm going to pop this. I can't even see how this is working. Are you supposed to use this side or this side, or does it not matter? Put these both sides and see. So here we go, got it on my product and I'm putting this all over my face. Okay. Uh, it's interesting. Wow. It definitely. <laughs> the amount you normally put on with a beauty blender because it eats it up uh, is quite a lot actually when it doesn't get eaten by the sponge. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much there, shall it? Okay. So it's actually really soft on the skin as I'm pressing it in. It's quite tacky. It's actually applying it really nicely. I'm just going to do one side of my face and then you can see the difference between one side and the other side, basically. Oh my god, you can tell it's spring coming, by the way, because my allergies the last week have just really, really picked up and I have been sniffing and sniffing and sniffing. Oh, and it's so annoying. I can't stand having allergies and hay fever and stuff like that. Oh, never mind, we'll get over it. So I'm just going to tap this in. I'm actually really enjoying this, it's actually quite nice. It's really squidgy, so it's really nice on the skin and it's soft. And this one is actually £10, so it's more than, say, the Real Technique sort of beauty sponge, but it's cheaper than an actual beauty blender. And if it doesn't use product, then I think actually you're probably saving money by sort of going in the middle anyway. It's actually really weird because you're tapping it into the skin, but it's obviously dry, it's not wet like a normal beauty blender would be. So I think that's quite strange because I think you can sometimes get a bit of quite a lot of moisture sort of into your foundation from using a beauty blender. And that has actually applied this really nicely. And you can just keep going over it and it I'm really impressed. I really thought I wouldn't like it. Which is really bad to go into a first impressions video and be like not going to like it, but I did actually quite impressed with that. Okay, so that's one side of my face done. As you can see, it has applied it really nicely and evenly. 
I would say that I actually probably do like the moisture of an actual beauty blender of the sponge that gives you because you wet it and that sort of helps because I have dry skin and at the moment my skin is really dry. I don't know if it's because of my allergies are coming out but I'm very much suffering and because of that I feel like I need a little bit of moisture sort of added to it but otherwise it's actually really nice and as you can see it's completely clean so I haven't actually wasted any product by using it which I think is a huge, huge plus sign. So now I'm just going to do the other side and it does say actually to use less product than you normally would use on the back which I should have probably read before starting the video but I didn't um, because obviously you're not going to need as much because it's not taking any of the product away. It's actually really nice and soft but on your skin if you do this it feels like kind of feels like you know when you add a silicone primer to your face and it feels really sort of smooth that's how it feels when you wipe it across your face okay so that's my foundation applied I actually really enjoyed using it my foundation is picking up on places that have dry skin which I do feel like a, a damp beauty blender would sort of help eliminate because it gives it a little bit of water um, but otherwise it's actually really really good and it's so, it would be so easy to clean just wash it under water and it's gone and you don't have loads of product coming out because sometimes take washing beauty blenders can take forever but this is really good I'm going to now try and apply my concealer so I've got the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced I'm just going to pop a little bit under my eye and then I'm going to put an illuminator as well on there because this is a bit dark but under the eye area okay so let's pop this on it's quite nice and gentle under the eye area they've made it really nice and smooth so there's no sort of harsh lines at all on it. Um, I do find that it's a little bit more difficult to press in than with the Beauty Blender just because again because the Beauty Blender sort of absorbs the product more I feel like you feel like it's going in more but this sort of takes a bit more time to just gently tap it in. Yeah so this is actually blending out really nicely and it's easy to control as well. I'm really impressed. So now I'm going to go with my L'Oreal um, sort of highlighter concealer. I'm going to pop that underneath as well to give myself a little bit of highlight because this foundation is very dark on me. Tap, tap, tap. It is caking a little bit here so I'm just keeping pressing it just to see if this can actually blend it in at all or if it's just struggling without anything sort of on there. So I'm just going to finish my rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that's all my makeup done. So my final thoughts on this little tiny product here is that I do like it. I think it's much better than I thought it was going to be. I still think I prefer an actual beauty blender just because I have very dry skin. And now that it's sort of my foundation has been settling into my skin a bit, it is a little bit cakey around my nose and sort of definitely on my dry patches. And I think that's just because... This is a dry silicone sponge basically, there's no moisture in it and I feel like I need the moisture. I think if you had oily skin or if you had like normal skin this would be perfect for you. I'm definitely going to use it with different foundations and just see if I get a different result. I do really like it, I'm not saying that it's horrible, uh, I think it went on really well. Great the fact that it doesn't waste any product, I think that's fantastic because you know foundation isn't cheap, definitely if you're buying high end foundation. It's not cheap and you don't want to be wasting it on a sponge. So on that sort of thing, I think this is really, really good. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I thought this is such a strange little product that's come out, but it's actually really sort of genius, really. I mean, so simple to make as well. Um, so it's really cool that these things have come out. Again, I got this off beautybay.com and it was £10. So not too expensive either, so sort of in the mid range there. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe if you're new to my channel. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday and I do beauty videos, lifestyle videos, uh, haul videos, sort of fashion videos, all those sorts of things. So do hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything and I will see you in my next video. See you later.